Hello, folks, and welcome back to Antares for the final time. I am Mark, the man behind the curtain, and today we close the curtain on Stellaris Invicta Season 2. <laughs> it's uh, it's so wild to, to actually be saying that. Yeah, and thank you everyone so much for, for being here. Thanks to everyone who, who uh, attended the premiere of the episode that uh, went live about an hour ago. If you haven't already seen it, you might want to, because some big questions were answered, or at least hinted at. So, uh, yeah. A lot to go over before we begin. First, even though this is the final session, we still have uh, some more content in the pipeline for Stellaris Invicta. In about two weeks, I think, we'll be putting out the uh, the final part of our, uh, our episodes on YouTube, and then a month after that, we'll be putting out the epilogue. So, even though this is the final stream, Stellaris Invicta is actually still kind of going. So, there's that. So, if you're able to, hopefully that link works. It didn't. Fantastic. Well, if someone could link the, uh, the Google Doc in chat there, where we're recording everything that happens in these streams, it would be very much appreciated. Okay, so... Uh, what else to talk about? Well, yeah, actually, uh, Twitch recently added, um... Animated emotes So yeah, those are now a thing and it looks like our twitch bots broken. Huh, eh, that sucks. Oh Well, yeah, so they've added animated emotes, so you know feel free to spam those if you're a template subscriber and to all uh, Everyone attend like ev everyone was man I'm kind of flustered the last stream. It's getting in my head What I'm trying to say is everyone who's watched these streams from the first episode to now. Thank you all so much one of the main goals I had this year was to uh, strengthen the, the Twitch side of the Temple Institute. And uh, thanks to you, that's happened. So it's so cool to be a Twitch partner now. It's so cool to have all these new um, features made available to us. And uh, couldn't have done it without your involvement. So thank you all. And, and thanks for enjoying the series and yelling about the series and disagreeing with me about the series. That is honestly the best. It, it can be frustrating at times, but it would have been way worse if we had put this out and nobody gave a shit. So. <laughs> Thank you. So, let's get into it. What happened last stream? Well, a lot. We finally uh, commenced the invasion of the UTE. And we took Earth. We took basically everything. The UTE as it stands is pretty much beaten. Except for one small part. Uh, where is it? This fleet, currently in the middle of nowhere, but they have a giant fleet just kind of sitting out there. So, we've been trying to hunt it down and destroy it. Haven't uh, been able to do that yet. Whoever's in command of it is a wily one. So we're trying to hunt down that fleet, destroy it, and honestly, when that's done, when the UTE is, is done, that'll be the end of the stream and the last, the last one we do. So, who knows if this will even make it for the, our regular two hour kind of time limit. But, before we get started, there's one other thing we need to do. There it is. Thanks to all of you who uh, voted on Patreon. As to what we would call the new federalized version of Antares, and that would be the Commonwealth of Antares. I really like this name. I feel like the... Antares isn't quite as showy, and Commonwealth is just, it's understated. I think, uh, it's kind of the embodiment of the speak softly and, and carry a big stick or whatever. It's not like the Grand Federal Republic of the Empire of Antares, that kind of thing. So, I dig it. But, uh, anything else I need to do before we get going? I guess not. Um, I mean, I'll plug our shit one last time if you can forgive me. Uh, this series is only possible thanks to your support, so to everyone on Patreon who's been pledging to us, and everyone here on Twitch who's uh, subscribed and uh, throwing bits our way, like, oh my god, regular Matthias just did. Uh, thank you all so much, it's because of- oh my god, it's- everybody get down, it's a raid! Good lord, am, am I not getting alerts by the way? Nothing kicked off for that one, Jesus. Oh lord. Okay, they're, they're a little late. God. <laughs> God damn it. 
All right, well, uh, if you're joining us, I'll, I'll try to recap everything I just said as quickly as possible. This is the final stream of Stellaris Invicta Season 2. This is a story we've been telling since November of last year. The journey of the Antares Confederacy, now the Commonwealth of Antares. Uh, I was just in the middle of thanking everybody who's been donating bits and subscribing and, and following and, and pledging to us on Patreon, because it's only thanks to your support that we've been able to do these episodes, commission the artwork showing all the coolest events from the from the streams and and all that other stuff. So uh thanks everybody. <laughs> let's let's get to it. Alright. And good lord, the hype train's going too. That's uh what a way to, to get this going. Okay, so our our only goal for this stream is to hunt down this armada. And let's uh get to that. I mean, research at this point is kind of pointless. Let's unpause this. We're fighting somebody. Oh yeah, we're just taking random holdouts across the galaxy. Okay, great. Oh, and the Mother of Exiles is down here. Yes, because there was a big UTE counterattack down here. So let's get the Mother of Exiles our juggernaut back into former UTE space. And let's uh, let's get this counterattack going. Alright. Come on, you ape! You wanna <laughs> uh, thank you for the for the premium taunt there, Master Thief Esquire. Thank you all very much for, for getting the hype train going and keeping it going. Oh boy. Yeah, thanks, thanks everyone for the bits. I think we're about to wipe out the uh, this fleet in just a second here. Engaging. There it is. That is some bad luck on their end. Okay, so we're pushing in, and that fleet is now up to 600k. I swear to God it was at 300k just a second ago. Did anyone else notice that? Where did this goddamn thing come from? I've never seen... I've, I've never seen this kind of... I mean, I saw it once, actually, when with the... Uh, that robot uprising. Do we even have the strength to... I think we do. Good God. But let's uh, let's keep pushing in here. Oh, and Mari Obi gifting out subs. Th thank you so much for that. And for those of you who are subscribed now, enjoy the, the new emotes, including the animated emotes we got going. Um, very excited about those. All right, we need to speed this up if we're gonna win this war quickly. Uh, Candle asking, will Earth become independent, part of Antares, or a protectorate again? I hate to give a spoiler, but that's gonna be the final poll for this stream. So, uh, stick around for that. Okay, we're fighting... somebody. Okay, yeah, just taking that system. Makes sense. And thanks again to everyone who's been following, etc. I'm gonna have to stop calling it all out, but a blanket thank you to everyone here today. Ah, look at that, their science nexus is now ours. You love to see it. They got one planet there, the great planet of Tuscany. Okay, where did the superfleet go? Has the superfleet disappeared once again? And Silent Bread! Thank you for gifting out even more subs, but where where did the Bismarck fleet go? Am I blind? Seven. What the hell? Okay, let's look for some red dots here, folks. 
It's not there. Could it be in... There's a gateway there. None of this makes any sense. Okay. Uh, I'll worry about this later. Bell draw. Sorry, I got about to get fucked up, though. And I'm out of moats. That's fine. I'll just buy more. I think we'll survive. How many moats am I losing? Oh, shit. Yeah, I am just bleeding. Yeah, that's my bad. Well, final stream. No need to... Uh... No need to worry too much about the economy at this point. Okay, let's make sure we get the armies in place. Okay. 47. I mean, I would say it can't have gone far. But it could be anywhere. I don't love how much energy we're losing. It's probably because I'm way over the fleet limit. Time to start selling stuff. Okay, well, let's keep moving in. 18... 3740. Where the hell did it go? This is like the tenth time they've just disappeared on me. Alright, can they get an active? Nope, they're not into it. Wait. There they are. Okay, I don't, I don't know how I missed that, but okay, they're coming in. What are they trying to do? I don't know. But we're close, right? Only a jump away. Technology discovered. All right. Let's uh, follow these suckers. 39 days. The question is, can these guys jump out of the system quicker than we can arrive? Because they're so big, I feel like as soon as we get in there, we're going to be able to shoot them. And let's, let's uh, make absolutely sure that... Uh, focusing crystals... And let's get a bunch of moats. Okay. That, that probably is enough. 31 days. Focusing on any of the Grand Fleet Edict. Do I not have that on? No, I don't. All right. And thanks everyone for getting the uh, the hyper the hype. Tr okay, here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. They jumped out. God damn it! 
They're always just one step ahead of me. Okay, here's a question. If we were to use the jump, where we, uh, ship weapons damage minus 50. Yeah, that's no good. At least we're getting out, uh, we're taking out these remnants. I wish there was a way to slow them down. Very slowly chasing them. Oh, Harlequin asking if we can use the gaming chair or the sword of destiny. They probably have more official names. I think we'd already activated one. Sublight, okay, Blade of the Huntress gets a uh, sublight speed plus 25. What do you think, catch up, Blade of the Huntress? I don't know if we can activate more than one at a time. Nope, we can't, all right. Uh, so, no such luck there. Damn. Okay, only one system away now. Okay, if they try to go to the gateway, I was gonna say the bell drops would slow them down, but I don't think we can get there in time. Spaceport lost. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Can they last long enough to, uh, Come on, take that out, take that out, take that out. Oh, they're not even gonna try to fight it. Beldras, I need you to hold them off, please, so I can catch up. Oh, they're not a 300 now. Three, th four, okay, I don't know what the hell is. <laughs> That's a, they're gone. They used the gateway to go where? All right, I'm gonna park myself at that gateway. Um, still no idea discovered. where the hell, okay, let's get uh, our other fleets close to a gateway as well. With the idea being as soon as we figure out where they are, we'll jump through the nearest gateway and intercept them. Beldra's coming in, that's good to see. Okay. Oh, we can't actually go in the, the stellar hierarchy, can we uh... Their borders are closed to us. Is that only to us? But why? Oh, those jackasses. All right, where's the nearest gateway? I guess it would be the old cluster, right? All right, back to where we came.
Technology discovered. Man, I'm not 100% sure we're gonna get that final. Oh, what do we got here? Is there an... No, we got we got ships right there. We would be able to see them. Okay. Huh. Wait. How the hell did it end up there? I okay. It, okay, I got it. We got it. We got it. There's no, there's no gateway there, is there? I think we got him. I think we got him. Just gotta make sure we all get there at the same time. It's happening, and we're all here. We're, we're all okay. Okay, it's happening. Brachma, the Battle of Brachma is about to start. Okay. Uh, volatile ex ammunition. Volatile reactive armor and ex okay, a bit more moats. Edix volatile explosives. All right. I God, I hope you win this, sir. What what are we doing? We got two hundred. I I think I think we got it. Holy shit! Are we winning? <laughs> I don't even want to say anything over this. This is... I've never... This is the biggest battle I've ever seen in Stellaris, I'll tell you that. We are just cutting through them. Holy shit. Look at that, down to 200 in seconds. A lot of explosions. <laughs> Thanks to everyone sounding the charge. Just a line of explosions following their whole formation. There it is! I have never seen anything like that. That was insane. Although it looks like they retreated. Or no, I guess they lost. Okay. That was a great Philippines turkey shoot right there. Or what was it called? The Great, um... What was the turkey shoot called? World War II? Largest naval battle in history, kind of. Great Mariana turkey shoot. 
Well, that was goddamn cool. Now for the last of them. I don't think we need to sit here and watch this. We can just start conquering planets and uh, make sure we got everybody. We will land armies there. And anybody here? Nope. So it does seem like the rest of those troop transports can go off and do something else. We will need them up here. Ha, oh, Jesus. Ken Hill saying the great Brahma turkey shoot. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty accurate. Well, let's get the last of our fleets up there as part of the cleanup crew. Cabo's 15 asking, do, the, do we even have Antares and turkeys? Yeah, except they're 15 feet tall. Take your head clean off, they will. Who was the admiral that won the battle? I mean, there was a bunch of admirals, right? We have so many fleets here. Um, Carl Schaefer, Slashliam Hadgulek, Hass Tarag, a sign leader, the great admiral, a sign leader. Tom Chamberlain, the android. Fel Aram, Ken Monet, Mazdrok. We got a whole like coalition of species here. It's pretty cool to see, I like it. Uh, okay. Deploying liberation forces. Oh, another minor battle. God, they're just throwing their lives away, aren't they? Kind of a convoluted route we got here. Although I think at this point I can just risk jumping shit everywhere, right? Uh. Oh, all our fleets ended up here again? Yeah, we don't need everybody there, guys. Let's get some of you back here. Mother of Exiles can head here. Are we invading Tuscany yet? Apparently not. Did we retreat all the f transport fleets when we needed some to stay? All right, just in case, we'll send one back there. Could have sworn I... Oh, yeah, they're there. Okay, great. Mother of Exiles getting some shots in. But I think it's gonna be fine. Yeah, there it goes. Niango asking, that's a support vessel, Mark. Why are you sending it to the front lines? 
because right now it is supporting Colony victory. Conquered. Oh shit! We got the remnants of their fleet hanging out there. But it's fine. We got the gang coming together. Oh my god, low stability. We're out of consumer goods. Okay, and we're also grabbing this place. I'd really like to get the troop transports up there a bit quicker. I've heard rumors that if we destroy the uh, UTE Colossus, the war will automatically end. Is that true? Just for uh, completionist purposes, I'd love to grab as many planets as I can before we end the stream here. But lore-wise, I think we'll say that this ends with the complete surrender of the UTE. Okay, but we got the uh, troop ships uh, coming up here. We got more on the way, right around there. Our fleets are just everywhere at this point. There we go, we've taken this area. And looks like they got stuff here. Oh, but our allies have troops there as well. What are they waiting for? Okay. Oh, we got some. Oh, shit, we got shit in Tau City and here. They slipped my notice. Okay. King Spain, 1778, asking Mark, tell us what happened on the Kiska. Pretty sure I just did. Damn, we're bleeding consumer goods. And moats. Is the Antares economy about to completely collapse before this war is over? <laughs> There's a strong possibility. Oh, that is a strong garrison. What do I have? 3.8? Okay, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so troop ships are on the way. The Senate's in session doing absolutely jack shit. Deploying liberation forces. We're invading Tau City, that's good. Mm -hmm. 
And on Salam, they have 500, and here they have 9. Oh, these are tough nuts to crack. Okay, well, let's, uh... Charismatic. Yeah. That's who I want in charge. Master Thief wants to know, what's the name of the UTE's Colossus? It is... It probably has some stupid name, like the Egg of Destruction or whatever they had from last season. It is the Overlord. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh, we're about to commence Operation Overlord then. Deploying Liberation Forces. Increase the speed here a bit. Assuming the game can actually uh, sustain that. Have we taken Test City? Yeah, we're working on it. Almost there. Uh, why aren't we sending our fleet against the last remnant fleet? I want to take these planets first. On the off chance that destroying their Colossus does end the war. I don't think it would, because there'd usually be some sort of, like, notice period, right? But why take the chance? All right, but I think now is a good time to uh, send these suckers in. If I can maybe merge some of these fleets, good god! All right, fuck it. We'll send the whole mess in. Here it is, the final battle. There goes the Colossus. Did the Mother of Exiles make it in? Oh, it's on the way, it's on the way. Lot of explosions. And I think once that's done, that might be uh, the last of it. Yep, took that one. And thanks again for everyone following, subscribing, throwing out bits. Very much appreciated. Sorry if I can't read out all the names this stream. A lot going on. But uh, for those of you who have subscribed, enjoy the uh, new emotes, including the animated ones. selecting here. Okay. 
Okay. Few more jumps when we got this. Seven planets still. God damn it. Colony conquered. Deploying liberation forces. Okay, so that's that. We've taken this one. We're about to land here. And are we currently fighting here? No, we're not. Why aren't we? Because we're fighting here instead? All right, well, we got that. I got a couple more, but it's fine. We're, we're making good progress. In fact, I can't even find any of their colonies to select anymore. Down to six. Larbo, Thrish, Tanab. Where are these systems? All right, while we're waiting for the uh, final countdown, I guess. Anything uh, people want me to showcase on the streams and kind of like a mini admin thing before uh, before today ends? Deploying liberation forces. Galactic census. I am never doing a census again. Show us Nakiska? Fine. You will get to see Nakiska. It's going villainy, oh my god. Uh, where is Nakiska? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you think is there. I've heard a lot of rumors. Apparently there was some news today about what is supposedly on Nakiska. I don't believe it for a second. All I can say is that, yes, there was a colony on Nakiska. It failed, like some of the other ones. And there is a very limited Confederate, or should I say Commonwealth, presence on Nakiska. Purely to investigate some of the strange anomalies present there, but I assure you, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, very close. I think we got this though, right? Nope, except for there, but are we invading that one currently? Yes, we are. Colony conquered. There that is, okay. We got one more over here. But that's underway as well. So that just leaves here, which is under attack. And there, which is about to be under attack. All right, I think it's time to maybe decommission some of our uh, fleets. Not to mention some of these space stations we've taken that we don't really need anymore. Just because I'm tired of running out of consumer goods. 
Okay, we can't decommission the fourth fleet, because that's too important. The third fleet... Okay, let's decommission the... The 36th we can get rid of. Same with the 28th. The 24th. The 23rd. 32nd. 22nd, 21st. The night. Okay, how many fleets do we have? If I accidentally decommissioned the Mighty Seventh, that is not canon. I want that out there right away. Does that get us anywhere close to where we want to be? I guess I can get rid of the 10th. And the 9th. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. All right, hopefully the stream ends soon. God damn. Apparently it's the star bases that caused the biggest strain. Okay, let's get rid of all these Terran ones that we no longer need. Although a lot of those are anchorages, which I can't help but notice are probably helping us out in the long run. Yeah, that's gotta help us a bit, right? Out of consumer goods. Okay, at least we're making money this time. Deploying liberation forces. Alright, what's going on here? Who died? Oh, an envoy died. 123, though, that's, that's, uh... Holy shit, we're making 7k energy credits? I think we're gonna be fine. Alright, let's write up these invasions, can we, please? That's ugh, unrest again. Come on, I have money. We can do this if you just leave me alone for a bit. Colony conquered. Got that one, okay. That just leaves this place. Four planets. How? Where, where are the other four? They must be here. Yes. Maybe we can also deactivate the fourth fleet. Oh, but that's where the Enterprise is. I can't do that. Okay. Better the economy burn than we get rid of the Enterprise. Maybe the eighth, though. They're not doing much at this point. Not really helping with consumer goods, though, is it? Okay, I bought us another month.
Colony conquered. I've been muted this whole time, talking to myself. Did anyone hear me read out that Pokemon card thing? Because I thought that was funny. That consumer goods are Pokemon cards. Colony ah, conquered. shit. Well, I read out some guy's comment, said it was funny, and then that was about it. Sorry. I got a bit of a cold, so I'm trying to mute all my sneezing and whatnot, and I just end up muting my mildly interesting. Alright, but okay, there I got two left! Great! I've decided to ignore the economy. All these red numbers up here are no longer canon, so it is decreed. We are gonna look at some green dots, kill red dots. Yeah, to hell with edicts, to hell with everything. We are so close to the finish line here. <laughs> It's down to minus 3k consumer goods. What am I doing? Probably because of all these new planets I've captured, right? That would that would be it. Like we're suddenly giving Utopian abundance to every UTE slave that ever existed. It's fine. Except things are looking kind of risky around here. Let's see if we can't uh, get that. Uh, who is the new PM? Oh, corrects him again. guys on here. We'll add some reinforcements to shore this up. There it is.
Okay, almost there. Count it down, folks. The end of the UTE is gonna be about 20 seconds away. Hey, what the hell? We have a slave army fighting on... <laughs> I don't know about that. That's not really in keeping with uh, the whole Antares thing. I don't know about that. Man, those Gene Warriors are putting up, uh, they got Tavarite Space Marines. There it is. Withering on the vine they are. Oh, there it is, folks! The Star Nation, formerly known as the United Terran Empire, has been destroyed by its enemies. How this will affect the political climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. The war is over. There it is. And that will be the end. Too many save games. Kind of ruined the vibe. All right, there it is. So, thank you to everyone <laughs> throwing out the emotes in chat and making this a, uh, a moment worth remembering. I'm seeing calls for a victory speech. I hadn't thought of one. So, just pretend I said something very dramatic and very poignant that reduced everyone in the chat to tears. Ha! There it is. Okay, so. This takes us to the final Twitch poll that we'll be doing here on uh, Stellaris Invicta Season 2. So, the question is, now that we have liberated the United Terran Protectorates, aka the United Terran Empire, what do we do with the territory of Earth? Um, I see two main options. The first is that we, you know, direct rule from Antares, in which case, the Commonwealth of Antares, like, takes all this territory directly. Or... We create some sort of new nation, the way we did with the, uh... Althorians and the Venton Vita, Vatalas. So basically, we can have a sister republic, or a sister commonwealth, or... Direct rule. Normally, I would be very much opposed to direct rule, because... Antares mm, kinda doesn't conquer people, it liberates them. But in this case, we've liberated ourselves. So I feel like it's okay for us to rule this stuff directly. But it's also, it would be cool to have kind of like a, a twin republic on either sides of the galaxy kind of thing. All right, but uh, I'm gonna be putting that up to you. So let's get the poll. Territories. Okay, and the poll is up. Okay, kind of close. 43% say direct rule, 54 say a new sister republic, but that is swinging back and forth. And if you want to destroy democracy through political contributions, you can donate bits and or... Tw Man, it is fucking close now. We are tied 50-50. If I get to cast the deciding vote, that would be astonishing. That would be an amazing way to end the series. Okay, no, a new sister republic is uh, is taking the lead here. Two, f 49%, no, locked at 50% again. 51% saying direct rule, 50%, now it's tied. Now 50%, I, I <laughs> you might remember that the very first vote we ever did was a lot like this, so if the, if the final vote is also nearly tied, that would be astonishing. Holy God! 
14 votes decided the fate of the former UTE territories. They will be a new sister republic serving alongside Antares. God damn, what a way to end. That's awesome. Thanks to those of you who contributed bits. Zed the Golden Skycat contributed 26,000 channel points. How many votes did that get you? That's insane. Oh my god. Hell yeah, so, uh... Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying it. That that takes us to the end of Stellaris Invicta Season 2, at least the live streams. As I said at the start here, we do have a couple more episodes, maybe more, going out. We'll have the final uh, part, I guess, of Antares going live in about two weeks, and then the uh, epilogue going live about a month after that, and maybe some side episodes in between then. Uh, and that'll be it for Stellaris Invicta Season 2. Now, I, I guess everyone wants to know when is Season 3? Not for a while. Uh, I, I like to take a break between the seasons. Number one, because these take such an incredible amount of work and the stress is... It's a lot. Producing, you know, three... Like, how many episodes were we doing a month? Two episodes a month on top of our regular ones? It's a, it's a ton of... It's a ton of work, so... Season 3, not for a while and hopefully we'll be able to time it around the next big Stellaris expansion. Or maybe Stellaris 2, who knows? So season three happening sometime. Ah, uh, but uh, you know what to hell with it. I can give you guys a bit of a clue. There might be uh, other Invictus out there. And I've already said too much. So season three, sometime, etc. Uh, but yeah. Thanks, uh... Thanks, everybody, for being here. Not entirely sure uh, how to end it. I guess I should just say that it, it was uh, such a, a privilege and a pleasure to to make this series and, and spend these Saturdays with all of you. I I couldn't be happier with, with how this all turned out. Like I said at the start, we ended up Twitch partners out of this. We had some of our best months ever, both on Twitch and YouTube. I think for the first time ever, Twitch overtook YouTube in terms of uh, some of the analytics we're, we're paying attention to. So, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this, of course, this isn't the only series we stream. Uh, I guess I should start getting into my outro. Oh my god. Okay, so, uh, Mondays, we're streaming Total War Warhammer 2. We're doing a cooperative multiplayer campaign where I'm playing as the Empire of Man. And uh, our friends at the Blender Dome are playing as the Kingdom of Bretonia. Wednesday, it's the same deal. Another Total Warhammer stream. I'm playing as uh, the Vampire Coast. And my friend Ashton is playing as the Dark Elves. Fridays, we actually have another Stellaris Nemesis stream. So we're playing the current uh, version of the game. We're playing as the Soviet Union. So uh, that's on Fridays. And then one week today, maybe nothing. I might be taking a break. I have my next COVID shot scheduled for next Saturday, so I think that might knock me out. But then what do we do from now on on Saturdays? Well, normally Saturdays are grand strategy Saturdays before Invicta took it over, so I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards uh, Crusader Kings 3. That's a game that I haven't played nearly as much as I'd, I'd like to. So, uh, yeah, maybe Crusader Kings 3. Maybe something else, who can say? But, uh, God help me, I don't want to end the stream. I, 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 I don't want to... <laughs> it, feels, it feels wrong to end it. But we have to. Because, uh... God damn. I guess I'll just thank you all one more time. Thanks, everybody. And we need to, uh... Raid somebody. Oh, our good friend, Mordred Viking, uh, just started streaming, uh... Humankind. Humankind, if you don't know, is a, uh, a 4X game, kind of like a civilization competitor that I'm really excited about. Uh, I keep meaning to ask him how he got early access, because I want early access. But anyhow, Mortar Viking playing Humankind, he has been such a huge supporter of Stellaris Invicta and the Temple Institute, so if you like what he's doing, give him a follow. But when the raid kicks off, we need everyone to spam our new emotes, specifically the ones that say, this is a raid. All hail, <laughs> King of the Losers! Thank you very much, I guess. So we, we need to uh, get the, this is a raid, uh, Templin raid one through four. This is a raid. Okay, so let's kick off the raid against Mr. Mordred Viking. 
Okay. Uh, where is he? All right, the raid is about to kick off. Yeah, so uh, one more time I'll say thank you all so much for joining me. It's been such a pleasure and a privilege. And uh, all right, the raid's kicking off. We will catch you next time.